Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Dispatch, and if you want to play it for free, you can. Just look down below in the description and follow the link, alright? Now in this game I'm going to be playing as a paramedic who gets called to a mysterious house late in the night to deal with some sort of medical emergency. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, pretty standard movement controls by the looks of it. Sprinting, jumping, interacting, looking and zooming, okay. Yep. That's all I need to be a, a fully functioning paramedic. Mm hmm. 12 Spring Street. Okay. An elderly resident has triggered her personal emergency alarm. Oh dear. Now lucky me, I'm the, I'm the closest one, it seems. Okay. So, uh, I guess my life's got about five or six minutes left? <laughs> and here we are. Alright. I already like the low-res look that this has got. I liked it from the menu. Oh, there it is. Complete with a, a purple attic light. Yep, this is the place. Oh! I came well equipped! Uh, looks like there's a couple of people up there to me. Or maybe... Oh, I don't know. That might be a, a stand for something. Okay, we're playing. Here we are. Can I leave? No. Shit. Shouldn't I have a partner with me? Don't we travel around in, in pairs? Yeah, there's someone up there. I thought maybe it might be a giant cross next to the window, but uh, I think someone's... I think someone's looking at me. Okay, so, uh... Looks like the door's ajar. I'm just gonna let myself in. Feels like I'm going to be the medical emergency. I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> uh, okay. Looks like we've got a book down here. Oh. A weird book. Lovely depictions of something or other. There's never anything on, is there? Never. I do hear something. Oh, I think it's I think it's actually the fireplace here. Hmm. Never a good sign when you see people's faces crossed out. Okay, well, I, I'm not seeing any medical emergencies at the moment. Seems like everything's okay around the dinner table. Everything seems to be okay in the kitchen as well. Hang on. Who am I going to call? I'm the paramedic. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe the police, fire service. Anyone you possibly can, really. I guess I'm calling out. Is anybody home? I'm a paramedic. Yeah, I'm here to help. Okay, right. Looks like we got around the blockage at the very least. Right, let's try this door here. Okay, that won't budge. We... What was that? Sounds like something fell to the floor. Hello? There's someone at the door. Hey, uh, Have you got purple eyes? Maybe it was you I saw in the attic. Do you need any medical assistance, sir? I guess not. He can quite easily run away, so there's nothing wrong with his legs. Uh, interesting. Okay. Alright. Is he back again? Oh, <laughs> he's back again, the swine. Alright, alright. You stalk me, I'll go see if I can find this elderly person. Oh, shit. Really? Okay. Well, maybe let's hurry up. I mean, time is of the essence, right? Oh my god, what is that smell? That is the smell of blood. Going to a door over there. Right, someone was dragged out of bed. After they had one hell of a coffee. There's so much blood. What the hell happened here? The trail leads through that door. That one there. Um, yeah, okay. Well, let's follow the blood. That's why I'm here, right? 
I think after seeing this, I'd probably want to call the police. So and maybe a psychiatrist. Uh, my head is pounding. Hey, oh, hello. Is it that same guy again? Or maybe there's another one. If not, he certainly gets around. Wow. This place is a lot bigger than it looks from the outside. <laughs> right. Yep, keep following the blood. Looks like we're going this way. There's another phone, right. Yeah, I know, it looks like they went through here. Absolutely right. Call the police. The police! Definitely! Or, I don't know, the SAS? Navy SEALs? Oh, into the basement. So much blood. In fact, so much blood, they have probably died from blood loss. So, let's just call it a day, shall we? Oh, bollocks. Just in case there's a slim chance they're alive, let's go down. Mmm. Wait. That doesn't sound good. Looks like we've got fingerprints, you know, like handprints. Someone was dragged away, screaming. That sounds real close. Someone else is down here with me. This way? Okay. Uh, at least it's fairly well lit. Don't have to worry about my batteries so much. I haven't actually found any. Uh, oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, what does that say? Brain of the wise? That, okay, right. Yeah, definitely call the police. Oh, a bushu. Wh what? Oh, okay. Oh, man, I'm losing it. Yeah, brain of the wise. I guess she was the wise. I'm certainly not the wise coming down here. Jesus Christ, what did they do to you? Are you okay? <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. The brain is gone. Oh my god. I'll come back for the body. I need to make sure nobody else is hurt. Yeah, like me. Where did that guy run off to? Unless he's capable of teleporting. He should be around here. But he's not. Okay, yeah. Um... Maybe around here? Yeah, where did that monster go? Do I say monster figuratively, or do I actually think that was some sort of monster? Oh, I know, I know. It, maybe I'm going to find some batteries down here. I haven't actually found anything I can pick up. Do I go around the corner? I probably just have to get out of the basement, right? Okay. No one hiding around the corner, peeking around at me? No? Okay. I just feel like I'm getting stalked a little bit, you know? People are just keeping an eye on me. I didn't close the door. Maybe it closes by itself. Oh! Or maybe it doesn't. Hey, 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 come back! Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> Please. Sense. See sense. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, do you not know the number? Right, let's go upstairs. There's gotta be something upstairs, right? I see an open door over there. And there's another one over here. Let's try this one first. Oh, it does open. We find, hey, hey, we find the bathroom. No one hiding in here? Nice bath. A little bit shallow though, maybe. No keys? No? Okay. Ah, ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm getting seen through the mirror, but there's no one there. Nice touch. Yeah, very nice touch. Right. Let's get through this as fast as we can. The batteries are just getting worse. I like this so far, actually. I like the look. I like the sounds, as uh, infrequent as they might be. Yeah, just the sort of background ambience and, and this stuff. Come, carer. I'm, I'm a carer, I suppose. Hang on. Hearts of the carer. Oh, boy. The carer. Is that me? I would think so. Yeah. Uh, I 
don't think I'll be going through there. Do I have to go through this door? I don't think this is a good idea. Okay. How are we feeling? Good. How's that heart feeling? I think that's what that guy wants, what that monster wants. Nice artwork. Round here. Yep, I can do that. Seems safe. <laughs> oh, but oh, hang on. Oh, there is more than one. Oh, wait, hang. There's four of them, at least. I'm not gonna get ambushed, am I? Hey, guys. Oh, bloody hell. What are you doing? Who are you calling? I know who I should be calling. Fucking Ghostbusters at this point. They're gonna be gone, right? Yep. Yep, okay. Just leaving the book and the candles. And that lovely tentacle symbol down there. Oh. Brain of the wise, heart of the carer. Yep, okay. This isn't good. Is this some kind of ritual? Yeah, I think it might be. <laughs> There's a few clues. Seems like there's some Lovecraftian influences in this game. Or, I don't know, maybe the devs just happen to stumble upon the same themes. Well, we go even higher. Uh, oh. Oh, very good. <laughs> I was just thinking, there's only three of you, where's the fourth? And I guess the fourth closed that door. Oh dear. I care too much, I think. I care too much for other people and not enough about myself. Just for a moment I thought maybe I saw a shadow in front of that door, but I, I don't think so, no. I think it's just the way that the, the woods darkened in the middle. I'm getting myself freaked out now. Oh hey! Right, was it you that I could see? Oh, Jesus Christ. How many, we got, we've got five people here. This doesn't seem like a good idea. But maybe these guys need medical assistance. Oh, boy. Welcome, Kara. We have been waiting. Oh, bloody hell. Your heart beckons. The old... Oh, jeez. The old one? Here we bring in the age of chaos. He who waits. This is a fancy attic. The epoch of the end times. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. This looks great. Not for me, though. Wow. Oh, is that what I saw in that book? That first book? It kind of looked like an eye. I guess that's going to be it. Right. Okay, no credits, just straight back to the menu. That was Dispatch, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. What did you think? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. I enjoyed this, yeah. I wish it was a little bit longer, but right now it's it's short and sweet. I like the way it looked, I like the way it sounded, I quite like the concept. Um, I really do like the way it looked, what they did with the lighting, the purple light, the tentacles coming out of the floor, the eye at the very end. I want to see this old one in its full glory, and then probably go mad because of it. But yeah, I enjoyed that. A great deal, actually, and hopefully you did too. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. Yep, that's all I need to be a, a fully functioning paramedic. Okay, so uh, I guess my life's got about five or six minutes left? <laughs> okay, we're playing. Here we are. Can I leave? No, shit. We. Maybe it was you I saw in the attic. Do you need any medical assistance, sir? I guess not. He can quite easily run away, so there's nothing wrong with his legs. I think after seeing this, I'd probably want to call the police. So and maybe a psychiatrist? Wow. This place is a lot bigger than it looks from the outside. <laughs> I didn't close the door. Maybe it closes by itself. Oh! Hey, guys. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Oh, hey. I oh, wow. 